I'm Garland Thompson, Media and Program Manager for the Salinas Public Library. These interviews are presented as part of Salinas Stories. The interviews are as recorded and do not necessarily represent the views of the City of Salinas or the Salinas Public Library. For further information, see the City of Salinas Disclosure and Use Policy. sisters didn't walk. They had to be driven everywhere. Mm -hmm. So that's a, just a few years difference. Maybe. But I walked, I was with you guys, I walked everywhere. Yeah. I rode my bike. If I couldn't get there by that, I didn't go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but Did you have there. bikes? Did you ride bikes and all? Or? Um, we did have a bike, but when you get a flat tire and you don't have the money to get a tire, yeah. to get it fixed, well, you walk. So you enjoyed going to Salinas High School? Yes, I did. Yes, I, I liked school. I did. I really did. I liked. I liked school. And Jimmy, you know, you, every year I was in a different class, and you started in Glee Club, and then you go to chorus, then you go to acapella. Oh, so I don't know if my voice was any good. <laughs> but, I wasn't. Uh, I know. <laughs> and we used to go out of uh, town with the acapella. Wow. They had the, I don't know if it was just a concert for all the different schools. And I enjoyed the Leaders Club at high school, going to the football games. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You got to go everywhere. Now, you, you were born in the 30s? I was, yes. Okay. I was in the 40s. You were in the 40s. So you don't 40s. remember. 40s. <laughs> you don't remember the war. Mm -mm. I do. Oh, I remember the war. But I do remember saying, and I don't know if there was any war on or not, but they were saying, shut the vines and get them to the table. <laughs> I don't know if they were just teasing us or what. Yeah, because you, as I was, I, yeah, that was, 45 was over, right? Mm -hmm. Right, and 42. Because we have these aerial photos. Did you photos. participate in any of those activities? I know these were in 59. Um, I mean, 48. They grew beans. That was and after they, that. that was so the person who takes it was in the air defense. Yeah, it was World War II. So because my mother my used to work. My that took the pictures. Where yeah. Yeah. He's, Macy's yeah. is at right now. He's in that the used to be uh, fields. And uh, I can remember her going to work. It would, they call the Wyoli which was a right. uh, rubber tree or rubber plants or something. And I know she worked there for a while, but she had asthma and uh, just couldn't stay working there. Do you remember the blackouts and the oh, rationing? Yes. yes. What did your family do with the blackouts? We just stayed inside the house with all the windows closed. And I think we only had an oil lamp going, if I remember right. It was only an oil lamp. So I know Anna said that they put board, her father put boards up over the windows so they could have light in there. Mm. Mm -hmm. And that was every night? You had a black one or they just no, tell they you? Just, they just, uh, a siren would go off or something uh -huh. and uh, that's when we knew we had to be inside and put up the shade, pull the shades down. Pull the shades down and stay inside. I remember that. 
Do you mean? I know. <laughs> Except, like I said, yeah. you know, someone would come to visit my grandmother, and, and then they'd make a noise. Get out of the table, quick. Close the curtains. <laughs> But I was just a kid, because I had to be only about five. Mm -hmm. yeah. Not quite five. Mm -hmm. So I don't think I, I think they were just teasing you. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Because I think it was after that time. <laughs> Do you remember the, um, when they, they, they took the Japanese away? Were you, um, did you? I remember some of that, not too much, not too much of that. I know. Um, when we went to school, the, the children all disappeared. Then we heard all kinds of stories that on, um, is it not Esperanza? One of the, one of the um, houses where a Japanese family lived had all kinds of, um, oh, I don't want to say bombs, but things, oh. guns and things like that. I can't think of the name of that. Russell Road yeah. on that big, big house that was oh, real pretty. Two story. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And there was one on the, also on the oh, Martinez. Mm -hmm. And those were Japanese families. Yeah. Yeah. Like them. And then they, then when we walk into town, going to the show or something, where the Rodeo grounds are at. They had those Quonset huts, and all the Japanese were there, and we were always afraid. We always go running past there because we thought, you know, they were bad people. Yeah. You know? So my we, mom had a lot of friends that were Japanese. Yeah. Um, do you remember her saying anything about it? Oh, was, she felt bad because they took the away. They treated them. Mm -hmm. And so were there a number of them living in the Santa Rita area, a number of Japanese? And I think they had, they had uh, a okay. quarantine quarters up there at the, what was it, Christiansen's, in the fields up in the hill for mm -hmm. us. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't remember it either, but mm -hmm. she said they used to have them. Up on the hill. Mm -hmm. That's an off of her on the road. Mm -hmm. I don't remember that. And did those families ever mm -hmm. return to the area? I'm sure some did. Yeah. That you know of. Yeah. Come no, back to your not that I know. Oh, not that I know. I didn't know any. I know later on um, when I got married and uh, I had a rest home for um, mentally ill people. And I had six ladies that I would take care of, and one of them, <clears throat> one of the first ones I got was a Japanese gal, and when she came to me, that's all she would say was yes and no. Uh, uh, there wasn't a lot of conversation from her, but um, she, later on, my youngest son, coming home from kindergarten, uh, would bring his papers, and I'd, t I'd tell him, well, go show Yoshiko your papers, which you did. Her name was Yoshiko Taraji. And he'd go over and show all his school papers, and little by little, she started less than yes and no, yeah. talking more. And eventually, uh, she had she came, came around really good, and then she'd tell us awful stories yeah. and things that they separated all of her family, her brother went to one camp in mm -hmm. Arizona and she and her mother was, and sisters I think were out of that camp. And um, just stories like that. Uh, but uh, she was with me for almost, well, 13 and a half years she stayed with me. She had offers to leave to go to another home uh, in town because we were out of town and she didn't want to go. She wanted to stay with our family. so. She, she was a, a very nice person, very quiet, and just a real neat piece person. Yeah. Like some of the people at the, in, in the tsunami, they're oh. reliving that time. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yeah, like well, <clears throat> radiation and everything. Exactly. It's scary. Yeah. It's really scary. So when you were um, kids growing up, did you have like odd jobs and that kind of thing? Well, my odd job was 
cleaning uh, Margie Barstead's house, uh, <laughs> house cleaning, um, and that's about it. Uh, I did work in the fields. Oh, the tomatoes, picked tomatoes with the long bills. I used to ride with them. There was a that was a big family on the way going to Santa Rita School. They were on the left side of the creek, and um, I would ride with them, and we pull carrots and. Uh, this was in the Santa Rita area? In Santa Rita. But he, we'd get in his little truck and then we'd drive to the fields early in the morning and he'd build a little fire and uh, we'd pull carrots and we worked in the tomatoes. Um, I'm trying to think what else. Um, I can't think what else, but there was other things. But I remember one time working in the carrots, uh, Erlinda and I, well, we said we had to go to the bathroom, so we took off and we left the field there, and uh, we come up to her dad's truck, and um, on the seat of his truck was um, his chew, uh, what was the name of it? I can't remember the name of it, his chewing tobacco. Oh. So we dared one another to take a bite of that <laughs> chew, and of course, I did. And I thought it was pretty good because it was sweet. <laughs> and Erlinda took a bite of it, but she spit it out right away. But not me. I stayed chewing it, and I got sick. I got sick. I remember that and went back, and I was kind of green. Didn't feel like working or doing anything in the carrots anymore. Do you remember but how they that paid you? Pardon me? How they paid? Not very much. Not very much. I can't, I don't remember. I, I, I really don't remember, but it was fun. I used to think it was fun, an experience. How old were you? This young uh, we were in grammar school already, maybe about the fourth grade, third, fourth grade. You were very young. Yeah, yeah. Wow. But it was fun. Yeah. <laughs> it was only after we got into high school that they figured we'd better get do something. <laughs> oh, as far as work? Strawberries. Oh, uh, I tried strawberries. I didn't get rich. <laughs> that is a tough, tough oh. job. And every time I see those poor people out there bent over, I remember my back hurting, my knees hurting, and I really, really feel bad for them out there. That's a tough job. Oh, I did the tomatoes, too, worked in the tomatoes. Picking tomatoes. That could be hard too. Yeah, that was over by uh, River Road. I can't remember who I went with over there to work in the tomatoes. That's a good part of that. Yeah. yeah. That's hard work because you're bent over and right. putting them in the buckets and all that. Did you did you do that? Did you have jobs in high school at all? Just too busy. No, I didn't have a job in high school. No, I didn't either. No. Came home and did the homework or housework. Except during summer, you know. <coughs> summer jobs, yeah. Uh, Bunching onions. What were you doing? Oh, Bunching right. onions. Oh, yeah. 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 oh, and I used to think every time I go home, because you have that onion. <coughs> yeah. Oh, chicken and dumplings. <laughs> I don't know why it got there, but man, it smelled like chicken and dumplings. <laughs> you get home and get so disappointed. <laughs> Oh, but I still like green onions. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. So what did you do after high school? Got married. Did you? Had four children, and they're all married now. I have 14 grandchildren and 11 great-grandchildren. Are they um, in the area? Um, Hollister, Los Banos. And San Jose. Oh, not too far then. No, I got lucky. Yeah. My oldest son did move to uh, um, Solvang and worked down there for PGE. Oh. But um, he's back in Hollister now. Oh, that's right. Mm -hmm. And did you yeah. do about the same thing? You well, after I high worked school? after high school. I went babysitting. <laughs> Two little kids, clean house, sometimes Ooh. started dinner, $2 a day. 
<laughs> but that was a lot of That me. was. That <laughs> was, yes. Yeah, because I started work in uh, 1961 at Sears. Mm. Dollar and a quarter an hour. Oh. <laughs> you, kids you? think they have it bad now. Of course, things weren't that expensive, so you could buy quite a bit. Did you work at Sears a long time? I don't know, 27 years, I think. Did you know Merle Pearson? Merle uh, Pearson? Sure did. He's a sweetheart. Yeah, he was. That's, he's, he's still, he and Pauline is the one that did so many interviews, his wife. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. I you know he worked at Sears. Uh huh. Does he, uh, does she work here or? She did. She's she's in a, in a, a restroom yeah. now. They were up there in age, aren't they? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I can see. He was, well, he was gray haired then when I was. Unless he was just premature gray. Well, he was, yeah, he, had, he was, I think, a blonde originally. Oh, is he? Yeah, yeah. He, he had been a pilot in the war. So. Oh, really? Oh, wow. And that's how they met. Yeah. Because she worked at the library. But. Mm. I suppose we should talk about some of the pictures. I don't, we haven't got yeah. a lot of. Mm -hmm. Oh. Like some of the. A couple of these, Ma you talked about a couple of those because your uncle You're in the shop. <laughs> was in the um, Civil Air Corps. Civil Air Patrol. He was in the Paris Green that laid down there. Just don't lean onto the table, Mary. Oh. Because you're in the shop. So maybe you can hold a couple of those up and tell where they are and who yeah. took them. Yeah. Take that great big one of the, this one here. Was that the same uncle that took this thing? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So hold that one up, talk about that. All overheads he took. <laughs> this, this is hmm? North Main Street. And here is Boulevard. And the, I don't know if you knew the Mosses. I've heard of the Mosses. Heard of them. Yeah. And they lived down this street. And they had, they, this is the old Soto store. Oh. And it was a John Urban store. And now it's a Massa store. Oh my goodness. And this here is the uh, Soto Square where the firehouse is on this corner. Oh it's the old Capitol Motel. So when was this taken about? What this? There's no date on it, I looked. Hmm. 1950s or 60s, maybe? It looks like it might be 1948. Because the Fords aren't there. <laughs> Fords moved there in 50. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's one way to tell. Yeah, that's... So that's Bruna Street. Tell, right. Mm -hmm. My grandmother lived here. So it's lived here. So your house is quite your, yeah, yeah and that's where you live today. And yeah, Ford's live right here. And another moss that is back here. Yeah, it's yeah this is all because this is the old the Salina City Cal Water. They're oh. back here. Oh right. Yeah. They have it all. And so who took this photo? Henry Port. And he was in the Civil? Civil Air Patrol. He joined in 1940. If he joined in 1945, it must have been the early part. He was, uh, he was born with club feet. And he spent most of his life up at the Shriners Hospital in San Francisco. Thank God for the elves. But uh, yeah, he he got out like when he was twelve. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because they had it as he was growing, they had to cut his ankle bones. And I think it's because my grandmother had fallen in the, the ditch 
and must have broke her hip. I don't know if she had it, went to the doctor or what, but uh, she sounded a lot. Stop talking mm -hmm. just a sec. Sorry, just to let the phone. It'll pick up, but I forgot to turn the radio on. Okay, thank you. When did, when did the Capitol Hotel get built? It must have been there. It's been there forever, huh? It had to have been after 1923, because that one photo this was taken in. 1922. Right. <laughs> so where's the hotel? Where would the hotel be in this country? The, the hotel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good. You can point it. Mm -hmm. Good. That's great. So who's in that boat? In the boat? Yeah. Uh, John yeah. Sobranis and Babe Sylvie. Augie Sobranis. Well, that's John. John. Yeah. John Augustine. And this is. And our, over here is my uncle. Is our uncle Sylvester? Sylvester Wilcox. He was just watching them from the bank. So this is in 1922. Uh -huh. And in the background's a school, huh? What's that, no. building? What's that building there? That's just a shed, I think. Oh, okay. Because I, my grandmother lives on this corner, right down the street from it. Oh, that's the wrong side of the creek. What direction right. are we looking this at? This is the bridge would have been right over here. So we're looking him. downstream or? This is uh, looking which direction? We're looking upstream. Toward the Gabalons. Yeah. Right. We're looking yeah, upstream. you can't see the. Yeah. And the sham, the shamrock, the uh, Capitol Motel would have been over this way. See this tree? Uh huh. That's Soto Park. Oh, okay. And, that was a, Thank you for and there's a white house yeah. over there. That was my great grandmother's house. I mean, my great aunt. So that's that's on the other side of the photo square. That's right down from the fire station. Now, is this picture taken at high tide? Was it flooding, or did they people just normally yesterday so we take a little skip out and on the very They probably shouldn't have never been in that. Whatever no, because I think they lost their paddle. <laughs> did you? Yeah. I got some more pictures with more kids there, so somebody must have been taking pictures. Because there were a bunch of kids. But did you all ever play like, a, you played in the creek? You played, I used to play the creek until it rained. <laughs> well, I told you the one story that uh, when the creek comes up like that, it kind of doesn't make the bend turns mm -hmm. and it comes over, right over in front of our house. And when it was down, the creek wasn't a lot of water there. Um, I would go out there and pick up sticks and, of course, throw in the water and watch them go down <laughs> and uh, not pay attention when the water was coming up. And then I turned around to go back to the house, and I noticed I was going to get my shoes. I was going to get all wet because the water had come up pretty good behind me. So your grandfather, great-grandfather, what was Charlie was uncle. Before? Your uncle, great her uncle, uncle, great uncle always came with a little wagon picking up wood for his stove and uh, I hollered at him and he came over, he rescued me, he walked in the water, pushed the wagon out there and I got in the wagon and he pulled me back across. I always remember that. I had a picture of him but I didn't bring it. How old were you? Oh, probably around seven or eight years old. Should have known better but... It was too tempting to be out there throwing sticks in the water. I was a bad, I was bad, I was a tomboy, I have to admit it. In good weather we used to play kick the can and hide and see. Those kids nowadays yeah. don't even know what that is. No, they don't know how to, well, like I, the kids around our neighborhood do. Yeah. Okay. I have, where I'm living at right now, my husband and I and, oh, I guess my sons, we were all sitting out in the driveway and we were kind of on a little hill and she was coming down the road on her bike. Well, I don't know what happened, but she fell into the ditch in front of the, in the driveway. And of course I went down there and I asked her if she was all right. Well, she had hurt her knee and she, I says, uh, is there someone I can call? She said, let me call my mother. 
And I said, okay, so I helped her back up to the phone. I had a phone in the garage. And she came up there and she looked at the phone and looked at it and then she looked at me and she goes, um, how do you work this phone? Is it kind of you put your finger in and you dial like this, a rotary phone? She did not know how to use a rotary phone. So we kind of left, but not where she could be embarrassed. But uh, her mom did come pick her up and the bike and took her home. And I never found out what her name was or anything, but afterwards we laughed because she did not use, know what the rotary phone was. And this is not too very long ago. It was about 13 years ago that happened, about 13 years ago. But I still had one of those rotary phones. It was an old yellow one in the garage. It hasn't been that long since we switched over. Like the AT&T now. Mm. In 2000, I think. <laughs> well, you, you all had fun at South and Santa Rita when you were yeah. growing oh, up. We oh, did. we had a party vine. <laughs> party vine? Oh, yes. Party vine. Uh -huh. <laughs> you picked up the phone, there'd be somebody talking, and uh, <laughs> if you were real quiet, you could hear what they were saying. I never had a phone. She had a phone. Uh -huh. And Eleanor had a phone, didn't they? Yeah. Yeah. So, Brannis, she, she was my neighbor. And they all had a different. Bell tone, so you know who. Yeah, it would ring once or twice <laughs> or whatever. Oh, oh yeah. So, went right yeah. so, who all were the families you grew up with out there? Oh, I grew up, well, with Sobranus. Eleanor and Augie, or John Sobranus, was just right across the driveway from where I lived. Okay. And uh, Eddie, her brother, um, her sister, Rosemary. Um, Margie and Bobby, her brother Bobby. We'd go over there and work puzzles or color at her mother's house. And uh, with Eleanor, she was a wonderful woman, Sobranus. Uh, she would take us, her and her two nieces, take us in the old San Juan Road, and she had a little old Ford, the kind that the rear, the, the back would open up. Oh, a rumble seat. No, no, yeah. no, not a rumble seat. It would be a convertible. No, the back end opened up Station instead of. Wagon. Pardon me. Station wagon. No, it was just a little one-seater car. The little blue oh. one, where the uh, trunk would open up this way, and you put stuff in the back. Do you know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. It's not a rumble seat. It, it's no, it's not a rumble it, seat. It, it wasn't like the things that were. Well, it's like a hatchback, but it was a one, a, a little old Ford, maybe a 30, back in the 30s, whatever those yeah. little small cars were. Anyway, she'd take us over the old San Juan Grave Road. We had more fun. She'd have us in the back, well, not against, it's against the law now, but there'd be three of us in the back, and then the other one would be in the front seat with her, and she'd take us over the and get come home, we looked like we'd been on the tractor all day long. <laughs> Our face was just covered with dust. Would you go over the hill to Los Banos? No, no, okay. no, no. Uh, we'd go up over the hill into San Juan and then come back around. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 Not, Not Los Banos, on the wrong place. Yeah, yeah San Juan. <laughs> Did right. you ever see the wildlife out there? I know. Oh, deer, sure. Come out, come A lot come of out. deer. Come out. Oh, no, we never seen any of those. Oh, but deer, yes. yes. And she'd take us to ball games, and uh, her kids were really involved with the fairs. Uh, King City Fair, I call it King City, I think it's Monterey Fair, isn't it? Monterey, yeah, there's two. City and Monterey. Yeah, we went to King City. King City's the first one. Uh, then Monterey, then Santa Cruz. Well, she'd take us down to King City, and we'd, she'd take, then, this is a different car, she still had a Ford, but she'd take the seats out of the back end of the Ford, and she'd put the sheep in there, <laughs> the chickens in, in cages, and pigeons, I don't know where the, the pigeons. The didn't go yet. The, <laughs> the baked goods didn't go yet. Did no, 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 I, I don't know where the pigeons went. But I remember they had pigeons too. But anyway, we'd be hanging on to the sheep there in the back, and 
<laughs> we had fun. We really did. And we, she had an old bathtub. That's where we'd wash the sheep. And we put um, drip, drift, drift, oh, soap. Yeah. Uh, what's the name of it? I think there was something like drift. Draft, snow, drift, drift soap. Snow. You used to get things inside of the box. Yeah. And we put that to wash the sheep. Then she'd take a little bit of bluing and we put bluing yeah. on them. And they'd look pretty. And then you'd cart them, fluff them up. Did she, did she, did they grow them or did they raise the, the sheep and the chickens? Just for show. Just, Just for show. show. No. So they were right there in Santa Rita. Right. Uh huh. Now, did the yeah. adults do this or did the children do this? I mean, the children oh, were 4 H. She had they twins. Were, yeah. They were in 4 uh, H. 4 H. Yeah. And then was John here? He had the pigeons. I think John had oh. the pigeons. Yeah, so I, we had sheep. And then Ford's had sheep. Yeah, but I know behind Mike Ford's house, there's all kinds of areas sectioned off to have pigeons and goats or whatever where they had sheep. They had all kinds of animals back in there. Uh -huh. But was, worse. Was this for 4-H or was this just to grow? When, when was this? Mike Ford. The horse. Says they had a horse back there. Oh, yeah. Too. Yeah. My, my dad bought some cows that had calves and he had them out at, uh, on Russell Road. The Russell Ranch. Well, somebody liked the idea of the cows, so they uh, it took them. They rustled the cows? Yeah, they lift the cows. So my dad had to go out and get these buckets that had teat on it, oh, yeah. and fill it with milk. Yeah. Oh, they love we the had calves down at Santa Rita at Ford's, <laughs> and had to feed them every two or three hours, only one night. Because <laughs> he found out who took the cows. So, uh, thank God for that. <laughs> oh yeah, well we've had horses out there. That was horse country out in Santa Rita. We were, that's yeah. when it was country. That's yeah, when it was sure. country. Oh, was Nielsen's out there? Nielsen's, Nielsen's out yeah, there where... Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Nielsen's is where... What's there where Nielsen's is that was that uh, oh that bank that's there. Yeah, I was trying to the store is in the back part of the shop. Part of <laughs> yeah, part of uh, what's the Hannies? Well that's too far. No. Where Mr. Fry used to live. Or who? Mr. Fry. The principal. Sal oh. Rita's principal. Mr. Fry. I thought you were talking about uh, Nielsen. Right. But they live right where Annie's, what is it, is it Annie's? I don't know, I'm not familiar with that. They used to be, you know, where you go into uh, Food Max? Yeah. Right there on the corner? Yeah. Oh, you're, you go. Okay, you're <laughs> done. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, it's right in that area, along with that mm -hmm. bank. Mm-hmm. They were closer to the 101, though. Out, but they we weren't back where the old is at. Mm -hmm. We had the trailer park. Oh, that's right. I Road. forgot. I forgot yeah. about the trailer park that was there. And we're on the road. That's right. So um, where Lamplighter Mobile Home Park is now, that used to be a cemetery. I understand. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it. And so, what did that? What did that? So what happened to that cemetery, and what happened after the cemetery was moved? It became a bean field or something? And well, you know, behind the school, there's the picture. Who are you looking for? This the, big, the big one. This aerial? Yeah, but the big one. <laughs> the big one that shows everything. Yeah. I think there was a lighter one. We just have to um, oh. watch the time. Yeah, this is good. Yeah. Uh, let me check with Inez and see if Elizabeth is coming back. Let me check with Inez and see if Elizabeth is coming back. Oh, that's a good picture. Yeah. Pick somebody. I'll take it out of there. Yeah. There. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Yes, this way. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, the cemetery was over here. Okay. So where's and Boulevard? Can you point out Boulevard? Boulevard is. Where's my? <laughs> oh, this is Boulevard. And we're looking toward the the uh, the lane. No, the lane's this way. Oh, okay, so we're looking the other way. Okay. Yeah. The lane's over here. Okay. God, we're going to miss that if that is a favor. Cut that down. Let's see. Anyway, Sousa lived over here, the farmer. And he yes, the bean field. He wanted, he wanted to grow some more. So he started taking the headstones and everything and dumping them. I didn't know it. When I was in grammar school, the water fountain, it had a, a brick thing or a, base a rock thing. thing. And my court said that it was a headstone. I said, I didn't know that. No. So it stood on a headstone to use a fountain? Yeah, they had Gee, somebody what? drug the headstone up to the school. Um, was it? Because they sample. dumped them into the creek. Oh, the stones, I know. Mm -hmm. Did they move the... And I imagine they dug somebody's up. Because mm -hmm. I know when they were disking for uh, leveling the ground for the uh, trailer park, that the, some of the tractor drivers had the skulls on the tractor. Oh, yeah, the Mona really... Yeah. That was oh, it. Oh, this? This was like 53? Oh, no, the 80s. Oh, no, I meant the 53 was taken. Oh, yeah, that was taken in 53. That was in the 80s. Yeah, it had to be in the. That was not long ago. No, no, no. When they started <laughs> going to this, you know, the leveling the ground for the trailer park. It's but the now we hear it's haunted. So. <laughs> yeah, they're going to get revenge. That was a yeah. very well. So the guy did all that illegally. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. So who was actually buried there? Did it have a name or? I think they used it. It was a city. Or but they probably, because before the church had a cemetery, or before the church, that church was built, they had to bury him somewhere else. So we don't know. Oh my goodness. So there could still be graves there. Oh, maybe oh, yeah. in Casterville. Maybe some of them went to Casterville. You think? I could have, yeah. There's that cemetery right down 101 from Salinas up there on the hill. Oh, Queen of Heaven? Queen yeah. Of Heaven? Yeah. That was Muller. <laughs> that was donated by Muller. Oh. <coughs> the same Mullers that had the one over mm -hmm. there by The one that has the more had the more oh, 183. Is that Calvary? Yeah, that's no, Calvary. Calvary yeah. That's Catholic. Yeah. Wow. So who was it that dug up that cemetery? Oh, <laughs> Susan. Susan. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, he was the only farmer oh, I knew that was there right. that farmed that land. <coughs> yeah. I wanted to show you a picture. Oh. oh, who's this? Oh. That's my aunt and my grandma. Oh my but oh, you see that up on the top? Pardon me? Do you see that up on the top? Yeah. Because yeah. they live right down from where John Irvin lived and Doc Archer. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Because that, is that Main? That's Main Street, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. This Main, no, here. this is. Uh, What's this gap here? Is that still? I think that's here? Hotel Prado. Because this kind of looks like. Well, a I've had a smaller. Well, what was that table? That had to be. It's the 18, 19, no, 1878. The Prado become was no longer working as a ho uh, hotel. It was a hospital. Oh, was that the first county hospital? Did, you? Did the Prado yeah. Hotel become the first county hospital? Yes. 
did uh, Dr. Archer, I think, use his house more or less as the infirmary? And so what street was that on? Who are those those wonderful people? <sighs> they have, oh, they have, yeah, they had to be close to 1900. And who's in the picture? She's Aunt asking. Minnie and Rosie Poor. Oh, okay. Rosie Rosendo and, and Dominga. And so where was this actually? Virginia. This was... See, this is Brutus, right? Yes, where this fence really? is? Uh -huh. That is Brutus Street. I just, I don't, it's not. That, that is a hotel it's on the top of the hill. Because there's another street there, look behind you. So that's going up toward Russell Road. Look it up that way. Right. Because Prado is um, further down. Right. Still, uh, let me find that. We're here. Do this. Okay, see? My grandfather, great grandfather, bought these three lots. And that, those ladies, here's that lady's picture. Those, I got these three dots, and they're sitting about right here. And if you look right up this way, let's see, just, uh, Dr. Archer's house was about here, mm -hmm. and John Irvin's house is. Right pad, they just tore it down. And that hotel is right here. I had no idea there was anything like that. I can't see the other map I've got, which I didn't bring, it has the, the street name. I had no idea there was a, a building like that up there. Well, somebody argued with me, and I said, I know that is Santa Rita. So where's John? Because I knew where my grandfather bought the property. Oh, so where's Bolivar on this? Bolivar. Can't see me from my house. Oh, that's Ford. That's Wilcox. This is Bolivar. Oh, yeah. OK. Yeah, see, I. I'm <clears throat> taking my maps out because I want to make copies of them. Now I've got to look for them. Well, I'm going to scan and copy, make photocopies, and I'm really hoping I can get this all to Robin on Saturday and she can bring it back to you. Because okay. I don't like to pe keep people's items. Okay. I can lock them up, which is what I will do. I will lock them up. Yeah, I try to, you know, put. Oh, it's just too difficult. What well, information I could last night. <laughs> oh. Well, you, I mean, I wrote some before, but some are just copies of copies that the back didn't get written. Mary Jean can also get in touch with you if you have any questions. She can, mm -hmm. you know, the, if I'm there's gonna, no information there, she can always... Uh, right. Well, I'll make photocopies that you can actually write on, and, and Robin will bring those at the okay. same time. So, And I do hope you'll come back. I know that you have to leave to pick up your friend. <laughs> I do hope you'll come back, because this is just wonderful. And she yes. has a lot of information. Yeah, but like I said, I wished I had had more time to organize it more. Well, we'll do another one. We'll keep the ladies will be so kind. Maybe we'll yeah. schedule later in April. Sometime. Yes, okay. would that be OK? Would you both be able to come back? Sure. When's your trip to uh, up north? In September, oh. the end of September, the first of October, we go up there for two weeks. So you'll you'll be in town. Then. Yes. Mm -hmm. Is is Thursday the best day for you? For me, it is. Okay. Thursday, yes. Okay. Thirty days for me. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes. But this is that street it used to be Prado, but they changed it to Mossa Lane. But. See, this is where my grandfather's, their house was. So the house was set in the back for the... And who's the, who's the, the lovely <laughs> baby? I mean, I have a bigger picture of that, but... Uh, this is the one here that was taking the aerial photos, Henry Park. Oh, yeah. Oh, right there. Oh, did you take the it? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. 
And over here is the one yeah, I called my grandfather. It was my great uncle. This one here. Okay. And I got it bigger. Who is it? That's my, uh, it was my cousin. He's uh, he passed away. Oh, really cute. In 1934. Who's that? Donald's brother. Oh, that's right. He had, uh, he had. Hmm. I'll have to check. <laughs> Lucille told me that you all get together once a month or something and have lunch. Yes. Yeah. Can I, I might sit in on that. Can I okay. get a fly on the wall? <laughs> the Santa Rita these, Indians? Yeah. <laughs> okay, these ladies right here is the one that started yeah. to get oh, millions yeah. together. This is Elma Massa. Rosie Massa, well it's Dusick, and hers was Cotaro, and this is um, Irene Williams. Um, she was Berryessa. She was Berryessa, and uh, me, Berryessa. Oh, Sylvie. Yes. Sylvie, Berryessa, Sylvie. Can you see it? Mm -hmm. Did you see it? Oh, I've been moving it so much. <laughs> yeah. <I'm> <laughs> <laughs> I've been grabbing little shots, a little sweat I could, snatches of it. Okay, yeah, that's. And you can't, you can't. Okay. Do you yeah. think any of these gals would be interested in? Uh, well, B and Emma have passed on. Irene has and Rosie have a lot of health problems. Rosie's in a convalescent rehab on by the hospital, and um, Irene doesn't Just even turn come. Ninety. Yeah. She doesn't even come to our luncheons. She has a hip problems yeah, and her just are. very brittle. She coughs, she hurts. Yeah. Yeah, she has a lot of So help. are any people that currently go to your luncheons, would they be interested in partaking in this? Mm -hmm. um, I like to go to one of your luncheons, yeah. just meet this crowd yeah. myself. <laughs> I think it'd be a lot of fun. Are we meeting that next time? I don't know. I wasn't there. Oh, that's I didn't right. make it. Oh. Um, I'll find out and I'll get back to you. Yeah, see if I think if anybody would be comfortable with that. Yeah, there's a bunch of school pictures in here. Class pictures? Yeah, I saw that. That's great. But I see at the bottom, I don't know who the kids are. It's, it's okay. I mean, anything you know. I've seen it too great. in there, but I can't remember where yeah, it was. I, I tried to guess at what year it was, and one of them, you were in it. I was? Yeah. But I didn't know for sure oh, what year This was. is an oldie. This is a real old one, because this is the old school. So that's a copy of There's a lot of Japanese in this one. Uh -huh. and so that's probably oh, there are more World War II than this one. Yeah, there's a... 1932, 33. Did you all know any of the families that farm Carl Lake? I know Higashi's out there. Did you know any of those farmers? They've been there since the 20s. Oh, really? So I didn't know if you knew any yeah. of them. Or... My dad may have known some. Even Carmen, if Carmen was still alive, she had so much. She would tell me stories. I mean, a lot of stories I can't even repeat. A drink? But <laughs> Carmen Fernandez. Uh, oh. Carmen Espinosa Fernandez. She was one. Oh, oh here, here I am. I just seen it. Oh. <laughs> Oops. No. There it is. Oh no, that's not the one I see. Yeah, but there was another one, an older one. Now Teresa, I'm think I'm saying that's 41, 42. Are you in here? No, there's Lucy, there's yeah. Marie. Or is that Lucy? Oh, yeah, that's Lou. Is that Mary and Schmidt? Uh huh. Yeah. And Bobby? Um, oh, you brought The papers Bobby. are on her microphone. Yes, yeah, sorry. The oh, papers I'm are on sorry. your microphone. That's okay. <laughs> what happened? I hit the microphone. Oh. Did I knock it over? No. no okay. Did you guys know the people that lived in Bolsa Knowles? Yeah, okay, because most of them went to school. Okay. So do you know how that community got started? 
Bolsonaro's community? <sighs> it's not as old as San Rita. Maybe. <laughs> What's yeah. his name? <laughs> Donald Clark. I don't know. I know, uh, what's, the, what's the other one? Hmm. Further out? I don't At the know. end of San Juan? Oh, oh. Oh. No. No, down there by uh, San Juan Great. Uh, San Juan Great Road. Yeah. Close and old. Yeah, it's right there What's by the other one. For what? Where Lagunita School is. Oh, that oh, by Crazy Horse. I don't know yeah. the name of the community. <laughs> it's hmm. named after a person. Hmm. Ah, but I can't think of them. Not much out there now except for the school. Oh really? The houses are not there? Oh, well, there's a lot of new houses. There are whole on the way on gated, the way out to Lagunita. Gated 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 gated. Gated. On this I did. On the other side, there's nothing out there but Lago Nita. There's a house here and a house there, but there's no community. Well, I don't know. I don't think it was built up like Santa Rita. Yeah. Hmm. So, no. What the heck's the name of the town? My God, is that me right there? Yeah. Good grief. <laughs> I haven't even seen this picture before. I see that. See all the little Japanese girls that are in that? It's the ones I remember playing with Jacks. They That's were really playing Jacks. It has to be 41 42. 42. Yeah. I think it said so. Yeah, 41 Well, I did that. So this I'm is guessing. a class picture from Santa Rita? Yeah, probably. What grade would this be about? That's pretty little. Well, at second. Let's see. What teacher is that? See, he was born in 35. <laughs> so I figured he's either, it's probably first grade, Miss Strode. I was going to say that looks yeah. like Miss Strode, so it's that would be first, first grade. grade. That would be first grade. Because I had, I know Bobby gradu would have graduated about 1950. Where are you? Right between all the little Japanese girls. Oh. My best friend was Japanese <laughs> in my later years. So was there a, quite a different nationalities in San Rita? You had Japanese mm -hmm. people, then who else? From where else were the people? <coughs> you had Portuguese. Yeah, Kitas lived on Filipino. top of the hill. Filipino people were there too. Because um, of that picture, there's all kinds of folks there. You, you wait until your lunch. Oh, oh no, I'm just mm -hmm. concerned. She has about, to get well, She has to go. go. I could sit here all day. Okay. <laughs> oh, no. oh, well, just, well, if I had come better prepared. That's okay. Well, you're doing fine. Oh, that's you're wonderful. Good. Laverne, you're doing really well. I mean, this is amazing. You guys, you guys are really good together. I'm glad you came together. This is really kind of treat. Because I didn't know what was going on. It's so much fun. It's so much fun. Just stories are just great. I love them. So I'm just privileged to be sitting here listening to that's great stuff. Oh, we, we used to play cowboys and Indians, too, out there. Oh, uh, yeah. We, all the boys and the girls. We used to run all over Santa Rita. I mean, like the a bunch of Indians. And nuns. Oh, <laughs> yeah. We did. But you used to play, we pretend he was a preacher, I mean, a priest. <laughs> Pure confession. <laughs> so we tell a bunch of lies. <laughs> Good or bad. Yeah. That's why they call this Indians, I guess. <laughs> well, they had the old toilet and that old, remember the old, uh, oh, trailer? It was oh, in there. yes, yes, yeah. You know, no one remembers that old outhouse that was in the back of the church. I remember that. I don't remember one. Yes. Mm -hmm. Way, way the in the back. Mm -hmm. yeah. the, they had the have one. Vegan, the one over the Santa Rita Church. Yeah, there was one way in the back, and I always told my brother to make oh. sure Did you, mean, you want to take copies that he went before. But I got to find out what book it's out of. Next time you I don't know what it is. It, it, I didn't know if they had one here. Is that the only church that was out there? Saturday Church? Yeah. Oh, later on, growing up, they had, I know, I called it the Holy Roman Church. The one the Kersey's used to go to. Up in the hill by DeSantis. Do you remember oh, that? Oh, I miss. 
on this other side. Right. Yeah, because uh, remember Emma and Lois? Uh -huh. Okay, we used to go up there to that church and because they gave us candy. They gave us candy, yeah. And remember Joanna? Okay, she was really into the church thing and I can remember one time we were Laverne, not Laverne, uh, Lois, Emma, and myself were sitting kind of back and uh, Joanna was up in front with her mom and the rest of the family and I guess we were making too much noise and she turned around and gave us one of those looks, oh my God, <laughs> we were quiet the rest of the time. <laughs> Woo! I mean, when Joanna gave you a look, yeah. you better behave. <laughs> and she's in our group also that has lunch together. Oh, okay. And she's in her 70s now. She's in her 70s. And um, yeah, does really she still have the look? Oh, I guess so. I don't know. I don't want to find out either. <laughs> but even her family talk about Joanna and that look. If she ever gave you that look, you better behave. <laughs> A really nice Kersey family. They live there in Santa Rita also. Uh, I can't think of the name of the street. Boulevard. Run uh -huh. all the way down there to um, Art and Levon Bolton. Yeah. 